what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just wanted to do a quick video talking about scream 5 and the chances of it getting delayed what the production could look like later on this fall when it's aiming to shoot in october last video i did about scream 5 i talked about kevin williamson giving an update on the fact that they are actively in the process of working on what they want to do in north carolina they're from what he, what he said, they sounds like they're scouting scouting the area, trying to figure out what what parts of the town they want to use, what location they might want to use for Woodsboro High. If we're in Woodsboro, what parts they might want to use for Gail and Dewey's house, Sydney's house, Sarah, Teresa's house, all of our new characters' houses, where we'll see Annie and Teresa hang out at, possibly where we'll see some some major flashbacks that factor into the into the narrative for the movie they're trying to figure out all these things on top of now trying to navigate in a pandemic uh essentially this is a i'm just going over some articles that came in or an article that came in from the star news online i believe this has something to do with north carolina it might just be a website called star news online but this was sent to me by an individual on twitter i do appreciate you sending this to me i and i believe you are subscribed to the channel so big shout out to you uh Sorry, I'm not mentioning your name. I just don't have my Twitter open up in front of me right now. So in this article, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. In this article, uh, they make the the articles making a big deal about Screen 5 coming to Wilmington and how when it goes into production later this year, Ghostface won't be the only one wearing the mask. Ha 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 ha. Of course, we know that while they're filming this project, they'll have some type of some type of protocols to follow. They still don't know what those protocols are going to be. So sources in the industry, according to this article, so sources in the industry say that Screen 5 is currently working to hire local crew and aiming for a possible early fall shoot, which I've already talked about. But that's all depending, of course, on COVID-19. As many states see their positive rates numbers rise, production dates, production start dates from Los Angeles to Atlanta are being pushed back again and again, waiting for a slow in the spread and some concrete protocols on how to resume filming in the midst of a pandemic. Locally, it's still uncertain what exactly the production of Screams 5 will look like and what protocols will be put in place to keep cast and crew safe. Uh, and then here's what the, reg the Wilmington Regional Film Commission director had to say about that. His name is Johnny Griffin. In response to not knowing what the protocols would look like and what would be put into effect between the cast and crew to keep them safe, Johnny Griffin, who is the film commission director in Wilmington, he said it would be up to the production themselves to implement specific uh, precautions and procedures based on a number of factors, including crew guilds, insurance and budget. Nothing has really been approved yet, but there are a lot of questions, he said. How often do you test exactly? What are the necessary necessary PPEs on set? How would you cat? How would how would cast and crew work on the set with distancing? and who has access to the set. Some departments can even work remotely. Uh, the biggest question Griffith, said, Griffith had to say, or Griffin had to say in testing is, he's heard rumblings that the general crew would be tested positive, possibly once a week, while the cast and those who work more closely with cast, like hair and makeup, would or could be tested three times a week, but still nothing is confirmed specifically for local production. I'm gonna tell you off the bat what my issue is with that. I understand we're living in a pandemic, but with all the things coming out about how there's discrepancies in the numbers and how some of the numbers are not being are not actually factual or shouldn't even be included in the contributions for a positive test or the contributions to dying from COVID versus dying with COVID. Uh, probably shouldn't even be talking about this. This video might get demonetized, but the simple fact of the matter is this makes me highly, highly skeptical, skeptical that the movie will actually go into production and stay in production if it does end up getting to shoot because of the fact that they'll be testing, uh, people that work with makeup and hair, of course, uh, supposedly three times a week. Now that's no nothing official. It's just rumblings that he's saying he's heard, but what's what what i don't understand about all that is if they're testing these people once three times a week or once a week how often are we going to have accurate test results who's to say we get a inaccurate positive and then boom screen five is shut down because of another inaccurate test result or because we jumped the gun versus investigating this positive test result or 
like just some some of the things that are happening and what's coming out about the numbers being a little bit skewed due to false positives and a lot of false entries in the numbers when it comes to the death ta death toll all of these things keeping that in mind that makes me very skeptical about how screen 5 will have an effective production that doesn't ultimately hinder the final product that we get in terms of the film's quality because of the fact that if it does start shooting in october we have positive it could very well be someone who tested positive let's say we have a false positive a false scare and then a false shutdown because of this false positive false scare and then screen 5 isn't going to be filming until sometime in what 2021 and we already have certain scenes from 2020 that we filmed and then most actors and actresses are probably going to look slightly different from last October to whenever you'd be able to pick back up filming. I'm just really looking forward to seeing how they're going to be dealing with all this because I know Jurassic World Dominion is in a similar position where you have scenes that have already been shot. Now you're going to have to come back and revisit the project and address maybe some changes in appearances. And I, I just don't see a lot of movies ending up on the positive end of this when it comes to quality of your film because of the fact that you have to navigate in a pandemic and the protocols not being not being understood just yet when they're looking to shoot in the fall screen five very well could be pushed back now what i also want to talk about is should it be pushed back we have to wait till we get closer to october to even uh for me to even say that i think it should be pushed back what i will say is that should we see certain things happening in the industry such as productions being shut down on a lot of other projects it wouldn't be that far uh unlikely for us to have screen five or it wouldn't be that unimaginable for screen five to then be halted and have its production date pushed to sometime in 2021 when everything is expected to get back to normal because we'll have a vaccine but it's like at some point what do, it's either going to come to a point where we're going to pull the plug on the project or we're going to shoot the movie i feel like that's what we'll ultimately end up at with a lot of these projects they're going to pull the plug on a lot of them or they're going to shoot the movie certain things like this a screen five i would hate to see screen five's production get shut down in october after it starts filming only to never have it be completed because of the fact that the pandemic worsens, because of the fact that the vaccine is ineffective, because of the fact that we are continuing to get false positives, or just because we continue to have the, the positive rates go up, the death rates going up, everything involved with this pandemic. I would hate to see a movie's production, a movie that we as screen fans have been waiting for, start filming in October, get shut down, get told that we're gonna start shooting up again in 2021, only to then have the film as a whole wrap, scrapped, canceled. It's not happening. I'd hate for that to happen. I would hate for that to happen. I hate the times that we're living in. And honestly, with nothing being certain. So it, it's just it's just very sad to not know whether or not anything is going to actually happen because we don't we don't know if it's going to happen depending on what happens in the next coming weeks, the coming days, coming hour. Screen 5's production could be affected because of changes with this pandemic. We could be looking at Screen 5 starting production only to be halted, or the production gets shifted into 2021, or because things get so bad that the project as a whole gets scrapped. If the project gets scrapped, that won't only be heartbreaking for me, that'll be heartbreaking for all of you, because I know uh, several of you guys have been waiting for Screen 5 since Screen 4. You've been wanting to see some type of follow-up to Screen 4, based off of the leaks and everything that we've talked about on this channel we know we're not going to get that true follow-up and we're not going to get anything that's necessarily addressing what happened in screen 4 not to say that we won't have mentions of it but from what we know and knowing now that the, sh the narrative is shifting away from sydney it seems screen 4 probably won't even be talked about that much kirby reed could indeed return she might not return it's looking less and less likely that she'll be participating it looks less likely that hating pants here will be involved in the project that's heartbreaking but we still don't know anything about the cast and now we also have to keep in mind that with north carolina wilmington and specifically they're trying to figure out what they're going to do in terms of protocols they're they're prepping for the movie they're prepping to shoot as early as this fall that's been stated by Kevin Williamson and now it's been stated by the people in this article and the director of the film commission in that state.
or in that city. So it's very heartbreaking to know that we have to keep that in mind. We have to keep in mind that nothing is guaranteed. Scream 5 could be delayed. Scream 5 could be canceled. Should it be delayed? I couldn't really answer that until we get closer to October. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.